girls, it's bell flexions time. And this is the time that I kind of just talk about what's going on. As you know, after watching this video, my recording is about three months actually that a difference in but my filming is three months ago and what a difference of now playing and playing three months ago. I am really glad to let you all know if you keep tuning in that by the time that you reach October my playing has advanced. It has become so much more and learning so much more. I don't know exactly what's going to happen in the next couple weeks but it could be a lot of repetition, a lot of the same stuff. So hopefully you don't get too bored. I just figure out a way to make these videos entertaining. Uh, also a shout out to Rose Finn. If you're watching, hi. Uh, thanks for tuning in too. Uh, she gave me a great idea of making the video shorter. And I think it helps too. I think it kind of sums up uh, what I'm doing each week or part of the week. Um, as I'm filming later on, I'm not filming as much, but I am just trying to practice at least an hour a day. Some days it's just 20 minutes, but doing something daily is gonna really help improve. Another thing I wanted to let you know, I don't do my hour as time goes on all at once. I do um, half of it in the morning and half of it in the evening at nighttime. And what I do is I learn something, I'm learning stuff in the first part of my practice. And then the second part, I just play, I just have fun with it. And sometimes practicing can kind of seem a little redundant, but that's okay because it's just, if I know I'm not doing it, I know I'm not going to progress uh, more and more. So, and a great hour is good enough for a beginner, it's good enough just the one hour. So. Uh, yeah, this is just kind of what's going on. I hope you guys enjoy this next episode. All right, take care. I was thinking, is it better to practice the same thing for 30 minutes or to touch base on each of the di different parts that you're playing? Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'd just love to hear from you. Alright, I'm going to practice my other stuff and until I figure out not to do that. <laughs> okay. I noticed when I switched to C chord it actually started speeding up faster and so when I noticed that I wanted to um, redo start again because practicing with the mentorum uh, I think is I definitely hear a lot of uh, guitars that play well have used them and you know especially if you think about other musicians they definitely have good timing I was listening to a cover today and some girl, you could actually hear that she sped up. 
So I noticed that with my playing and that's why I think for anyone watching or hears this, make sure you are using your metronome, something to keep track of. Okay, we're gone. Okay, um, can work on the bar chord and sliding my E chord to bar chord. It's just a lot to go into it, thinking of my hand position, my, my fret, my fret, and my pick. Uh, thinking about my pick hand and just aiming. Um, although, where it is muted, like F and C, you don't want to be playing E. So I noticed on, I think C, I was trying to mute my thumb with, or trying to mute the E string with my thumb, and F, F chord, that's just still learning that one and learning to get it, but I think there has been still improvements, which is great, and I'm pretty excited to be able just to be switching the chords and making it sound more like uh, the actual socks, so that's pretty cool. Alright, it is past that time. we in about 40 minutes tonight instead of an hour for the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give a thumbs up, you subscribe, leave a comment. I'd love to hear about your thoughts of how to play, how to practice, what's your routine, what uh, maybe You've been playing for a long time and you still remember how you started learning. I hope that whoever's watching out there, you're just loving to play. Hi, I'm Belle Carp and today is July 26th. 2020 and <laughs> I had a Tima's just shoving a donut in his face as I look over. <laughs> okay, let's get start with warming up and doing the spider scale. <laughs> He's right there! He's right there! <laughs> Um, at 90, at 95 beats per minute, we'll start the metronome at. I'm having a difficult time from, to the F chord, so I'm going to try to play through uh, without stopping my pick hand to see if that kind of drags me into getting, getting the F chord down. <laughs> just trying everything for at least 20 minutes and I hope you like repetition because guitar is about repetition. <laughs> right honey? Yeah.
this bar chord from E to I think E fifth. So I'm going to do that with a tempo of beats per minute at 90. One, two, three, four.